Mr. Underwood, you did not receive a nomination for Prom King. I beg your unbelievable pardon. Most would have you believe the valedictorian is the highest honor on campus. Common misconception. They're not slaving away for some petty form of personal glory. Even in their retirement, will they still be trying to impress their high school prom king? Watch it, pal! And a king's moral compass must always point north. You're wasting your time, Chloe. Prom is for juniors and seniors only. Freshmen just never go to prom. Not if a junior or senior asks them to. You write for the school paper. I write whatever you want. You get Doug to take me to the school prom. Doug, the senior. My dad just started going bald. I hope it's not genetic. Yeah, you're fine. What do you think of Chloe? The reporter? You think she's up to something? Were you wearing his Letterman's jacket? It didn't mean anything, I swear. Where's your moral compass pointing now, Frank? Tell me something, Mr. Goodwin. Are you attracted to Miss Barnes? I don't mind a love triangle. So this thing goes as high as the principal. It might. Francis, you seem to have a profound misunderstanding of the fundamentals of democracy, which I find very disturbing, both as your civics teacher and as an American citizen. If democracy is so fundamental, then why are my textbooks filled with the conquest of tyrants and monarchies? Scandal, deceit, backstabbing. Welcome to Jefferson High. Oh, the senior class superlatives are out. Frankie Underwood, most likely to become president. More like, most likely to murder someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, neither of those will ever happen. <laughs> oh, nope. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't ready. Oh, the senior class of relatives are out. Frankie Underwood, most likely to come first. <laughs> <laughs>